Okay. Now I'm just writing this question. This is from a past paper. I'm writing it here because I'm more comfortable on this um, app. It basically is. Again, the statement says, please keep your mics muted. Uh, yes, Rabia, please mute your mic. Okay, thank you. Okay, again, the question says, solve the pair of simultaneous equations. This is your question, okay? This is the um, question of the past paper and your equations are 3x minus y equals 13 and 2x plus 3y equals 5, okay? Yes, Surva, certainly. Your answer is going to be same. This thing does not matter. Uh, you can use any of the two equations and it should be same, okay? Achha. Now, this is the question and I am pretty sure you guys would be knowing that we can solve simultaneous equations through two methods, elimination and substitution. Ideally, substitution is better for this scenario. But since we are talking about elimination method only, so let's just use elimination method only to simplify this. Now, how do I simplify this? I need to eliminate one of the two variables and the coefficients are different, right? In the previous questions, every time what was happening? So here I had 4y and 4y same. When I subtracted, I got rid of y. Here 2x and 2x was same. When I subtracted, I got rid of x. Similarly, x and x was same. I was able to get rid of x. But in my case, the coefficients are different and even if I subtract directly, I would not be able to eliminate it. Okay, so this is where exactly you would know if you can use the elimination method or if you can use substitution method for this. Ideally, uh, go for substitution method, but we can still do this question using elimination method. How? I'll tell you. So, this is equation one and this is equation two. What I can do is I know if I get three here somehow I would be able to solve these equations simultaneously and that somehow is just going to be this that if I multiply both sides of this equation with three. Okay. This way, this would become an ideal equation for elimination method. So 3 multiplied by 3x is going to give me 9x minus 3y equals 13 into 3 would give me 39. Now think about it as equation 1 and think about this as equation 2. Just consider this as equation 2 that is not changed and this as equation one. Initially, I had something else for equation one, but the fact I was not able to use the elimination method there, I just multiplied both the sides of the equation with three, that is mathematically correct. And I got two equations and I can solve this pair of simultaneous equations using the elimination method. So what is happening here? Now I have minus three and I have positive 3y. This means this time around, I'm not supposed to do equation 1 minus equation 2. Because if I will do so, what would happen? Let me just write this thing clearly over here. I got this. And these are my two equations. Let me write it here. It's 9x minus 3y equals 39 and now this is equation number one okay for this question i can clearly see that the coefficients are same this is three and this is also three but should i do one minus two if i will do one minus two i would not be able to get rid of x minus 3y and minus 3y would become minus 6y so this means i need to do Equation 1 plus equation 2. 
this is what I need to do. Let's talk about the solution. Now I'm going to add the two uh, equations and this would become 9x minus 3y plus 2x plus 3y equals 39 plus 5. I'll simplify. This would give me 9x minus 3y plus 2x plus 3y equals, when I will add this up, this would give me 44. Now minus 3y and positive 3y can be cancelled. 9x plus 2x can be added and this would give me 11x equals 44. And x is going to be, 11 is being multiplied here, so it would be divided on the other side. 44 divided by 11 and this would give me 4. So this implies x is equal to 4. This gave you x equals 4. Okay, that's perfect. Now, you need to use any of the two equations. You can also use the equation that we had in the beginning. That equation was 3x minus y equals 13. You can use this equation. You can use this equation. You can use this equation. Plug in x equals 4 and find the value of 5. So ideally, I'll go with this one. It's 3x minus 11 equals 13. I'll plug in x equals 4 and this would become x multiplied by 4 minus y equals 13. So it's 12 minus y equals 13. This would become minus y equals 13 minus 12. Minus y equals minus um, positive 1. And now I need to take this negative on the other side. So it would become y equals minus 1. So this is going to be your answer. Yes. Now I will wait here for one minute. Just try understanding this. And then if you have any queries, anything, just ask me right now. Okay, I'll wait. Just try absorbing this and then I'll talk about it. And if anyone has I understand. any query, I, okay. I understand. Okay, great, Taha. Um, Ariba, Bipesh, Hassan, Moiz, Musa, Noshavan, Noor, Rabia, and Urba. No, ma'am. Okay. I got one query. I'm waiting for more. Take a few more seconds and then I'll address your query, Urba. Don't worry, okay? Or let me just directly answer this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so one of the students is saying, how do we find out if we are going to add or subtract the two equations? Now, this is a very good question. And this is what exactly I was talking about. When you will come across the question initially, you'll have to spend a few uh, seconds to see, to analyze the situation, okay? If you look at this part only, let me just erase this. If you look at this part only, equation one has negative three y, Equation 2 has positive 3y. Now you know that the reason behind adding or subtracting the two equations is just so you can cancel out the two variables and that is only possible when you have minus with one and when you have positive with the other one, okay? So if you do equation 1 minus equation 2, that would give you minus 3y minus 3y. So you would not be able to cancel 3y. But if you directly add them up, since the signs were already different, the signs were already different. If you add them up directly, this would help you cancel the two um, 3y's and you would be left with x only. The other question is that if we can do 1 plus 2 or if we can do 1 minus 2, can we do 2 minus 1? Yes. You certainly can do 2 minus 1. You have a free hand. You can multiply, add, subtract in whatever way you want. The only thing you need to understand is just analyze the equations first and see. Okay, end pay. 
you need to get rid of that variable whatever way you are comfortable that there, there, there's no compulsion about the order okay you can even do something else as well i don't want to talk about all of that thing because some of you would get confused but you have a good variety a good chance to deal with the equations whatever way you want and yeah that is the idea okay let me talk about another question quickly just so we get good at simultaneous equations and I'll send you homework questions. So I would want you guys to, you know, do all of them by the end of today. Achha. Another question says, it's x plus y equals 4 and it's 3x minus 2y equals 7. Equation 1, equation 2. Okay. Okay. How do we deal with it now? Again, I only know elimination for now. And apparently, both the variables have two different coefficients in both the equations, right? Here I have 1, here I have 3, here I have 1, here I have minus 2. So I cannot apply elimination directly. I need to do something first and then I would be in the position to apply elimination. And that something is either I can make the coefficient of y same or I can make the coefficient of x same. That's completely your choice. Okay. So how do we deal with it? What I can do is I can multiply both sides of the first equation with 2 or 3, that's completely your choice. If I multiply it with 2, I would be able to cancel out y. So let's just do that. And now equation 1 would become 2x plus 2y equals 8. This is equation number 1. Okay. All right. Let me write down the two equations now. It's 2x plus 2y equals 8 and it is 3x minus 2y equals 7. Just analyze the scenario. What you can do is for your ease, just do it this. You can do it this way as well. Now you know that if you will be having a plus sign here, 2y and minus 2y would be cancelled. 2x and 3x would be added and this would become 5x. 8 and 7 would be added and this is going to give you 12 and x is going to be 12 divided by 5. So this is completely your choice. Either you can do it this way that I you know, did the typical um, division. If you don't want to do it this way, you can do it this way as well. So it's 2x plus 2y equals 8 and it's 3x minus 2y equals 7. I'll spend some seconds. I'll analyze. I can see why uh, has same coefficient in both the equations, but the sign is different. So I can directly add the two equations. This was 1. This was 2. So 1 plus 2 would give me, I'll add the left side and this would give me 2x plus 2y plus 3x minus 2y equals the right hand sides 8 plus 7. So 2y and 2y would be cancelled. 2x and 3x would be added. This would give you 5x. 8 plus 7 is going to give you 12. And x is going to be 12 by 5. This is the answer. But you need to find the value of y as well. That is also important. Okay. So you can use any of the two equations. Let's use x plus y equals 4. This is what we had None. in the beginning. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, 8 plus 7 is in 15. Yes, sorry, I, I was, yes, you're right, you're right, yes, thank you. Yes, that is 15, yes, certainly. It's 15, it's 15, and it would be cancelled, and you're going to get 3. Very good, thank you so much, okay? And then this was um, the first equation. I can plug in 5 over here, and this would give me 5 plus y equals 4. Now, I need to take this 5 on the other side of the equation that's being added over here. So, it would be subtracted on the other side and this would become y equals 4 minus 5 and it's going to be minus 1. So, we got x equals 3 and y equals minus 1. This is going to be the answer. Yes, very good Ariba, you are right. Yes, any difficulties with this? 
no difficulties mm-hmm. okay those who are fine with it can leave and those who have anything any questions any queries can stay back and ask me okay if you're not comfortable in front of everyone um ma'am what is the sign of y is equal to minus 1 change to a positive one sorry i did not understand say it again oh you're saying uh, it should um, be positive one I... you're saying this should be positive one yeah yeah so i'll tell you one second i'll tell you basically this was the equation it's x plus y equals 4 x was 5 when i will take this 5 on the other side Mom, this would x is 3 one second this is 3 this yes okay yes x is 3 okay when i will plug in x equals 3 here it is would become 4 minus 3 and this is going to be 1 yes you are right and this is going to be the answer very good it would be 1 thank you for telling this again Any other thing? No, ma'am. Can you hear me? 